asked all of my colleagues, give Ricky Hatton no chance, I don't feel that way. Maybe because I've been here before and seen him and seen the energy that flows when he fights. I give him a real good chance. He has to get inside, stay inside, take away Zoo's advantages, set a fast pace, and fight the fight of his life. I think he's capable of doing it. It's the day you dream of to become the, the undisputed champion, and uh, I believe I'm going to do it. Ricky, the hitman! I'm a universal fighter, I, I, I can do lots of different things uh, and that's a danger of, for my opponent because they don't know what to expect. I've been boss for so many years and I will be boss there. early by the hometown Hatton. Hatton continues to apply the intense Hatton not even bothering to defend his opponent. Convincing fashion in November. And now in this fight with Brady he still will, but he hasn't so far. Good work by Zoo for the for a moment. Pace. Under two minutes remaining in the fifth. Phase Hatton. Zoo has countered very well in this round. Traded right hands and Hatton's was better. I didn't ever expect to hear myself say that during this fight. Hatton missing with the right hand. We saw it against Zach Judah, against Shambe Mitchell. He had Mitchell down four times. Dave Paris is trying to take control here. Hatton, back to work. Case that he said he needed that rest. He fights a very strong... That was the big hope here in Manchester that Zoo would be the warning from Dave Paris, a left hook to the net. Oh, and a body, shot, a body shot by Hatton. Zoo not precise with his counterpunching in this round. I think we're going to find out something about Ricky Hatton. Well, Hatton looking to finish strong here with well-timed and accurate, quick and straight. Great. High punch volume by Hatton. That's the first really good body shot, but Costa Zoo doing some pretty good counter punching now. Oh, good hook by Hatton. There's the jab by, by Hatton, countering straight right by Zoo. And who has the most left for round 12? Wow. Nation as he heads down the stretch in a battle of, of uh, attrition hit with one that has hurt him. And Costa Zoo. Stylistically, this fight is working, for the most part, in Ricky Hatton's favor. It may help Hatton in the score. Straight right hand that landed by Costa Zou. This fight, while it will be all action, and you can see... Heck, I'm talking about whether the judges will be influenced by this crowd. It makes him restless. We'll find out who's right. Zou with almost a dazed look on his face. Happened. I should say the perceived strategy. Yeah. Left hook there to the head by him. They feel the tide has turned the last three rounds for Costa Zoo. The straight ahead Ricky Hatton marching on, missing with the left. Come on. We can't be on the ribs, Cost. We've got to bang him onto the big rod here, mate. We've got to get him with it. He still tries to tear the center. And he'll come out with a fucking big bomb again. No anger, apparently. And they both come in throwing, winging. Zoo is counterpunching much better early in this round, and that was a monstrous right hand. Very interesting territory in this fight. It's obviously got to be close on the scorecard. Zoo said he wanted to keep the fight from a distance. The wealth under the eye of Costa Zoo. Hack comes out winging. I won't say this is a flat performance by Costa Zoo. Hatton, his strategy, jumping right on Zoo here. Zoo. Very close. Remember Costa Zoo, the champion, very difficult. But there's Hatton ripping to the body on the inside. He has not gotten too much by Ricky. 2-A-M. And Zoo missing wildly there. 
comes Ricky Hatton. Went to school on this. Just moments before he came out here, he was still watching films of Costa Zoo in the build is the fight of Ricky Hatton. So he's continuing to press forward. He gets off the straight right hand by, by Costa Zoo. But he... Paris with words. <laughs> Dog for the first time in his 38th fight career. He's showing as much of the boxing skill as he did against Ben Tacky. He's been more of a brawler here, and yet he's getting away with it. Maybe that's by design. He doesn't want to get countered over on the top by the right hand of Cosby Zoo. There's the notion that if Hatton can get through about four or five rounds, the pendulum might swing. Here a couple of weeks ago to acclimate to the UK timings. But they're calling it a slip. But it was the first one of its kind from him. See the wow. Being tenacious. A bundle of energy who looks to dominate. The distance Ricky Hatton has right now is perfect, especially for these early, early rounds. Round eight. You'll hear a roar. Inside by Zub, but it doesn't deter Hatton. He keeps coming. Great right hand. By Ricky Hatton in, no knockdowns. Right hand by Ricky Hatton, but it didn't have full impact. Slightest mistake. That's when Zoo strikes. Zoo's best left hook and his best right hand. You get hit with his best right hand like that, and you're down. They don't allow microphones on the uh, referees here. The Manchester Evening News Arena. Ricky Hatton. You see Hatton push him off. It's almost like an act of bravado. Say, hey. Ordinarily, Hatton with age that the zoo at 35 would destroy the zoo of 25 is keeping him from throwing. If Hatton's jab was working a little better in this fight, he would really be able to get some things done. Consistent that the longer this fight went, the more likely Hatton's But these players both going for it. Just walked into one. Pivotal in this fight. And you're right about Zhu. He can lull you into a false sense of confidence. When it landed. It says no more shenanigans. It is that close. Hat does not throw the uppercut thickening here. Every time Hatton even comes close to landing. Sue showing the jab. But he continues to fire bombs. They weigh in again the morning of the fight. A barrage by Ricky Hatton, right hand landed to the chin. There's that left hook sticking to the body by Sue. And remember, Hatton was knocked down by a counter right hand by Eamon McGee early in the fight. Yeah. Hatton has fought every second of every round and not given Costa Zoo a chance to rest. If Zoo is on, Hatton will have to... Able to counter him as he comes in, although there was a nice right hand, but it's not hurting Hatton as he comes in when he does get in. It's assault. And then he was able to land good body shots. Zhu would yeah, want Dave Paris to break them now, but he's not doing it. Coming into this fight. So this one really raising some eyebrows. And Costa Zhu did nothing to take advantage of that. He's a tired fighter. It's also about Costa Zhu slowing down at age 35. That's to take nothing away from Hatton's performance. It's been superb. so close it's astonishing that Costa Zoo did not come out for that last round you would have thought as Costa Zoo doesn't come out for the 12th round in a very close fight Ricky the